So I got my two holes drilled and uh, I got, it wasn't as deep as I thought, but I think that's because it's a little off with this blowing sand. But nevertheless, I got two good 11 inch, almost 12 inch holes drilled and mission accomplished. And I'm gonna get one really good one where the uh, debris is down a ways, you know, where I did the other day. Because uh, it's so cool looking. Now that I've got this bigger hole, I can tilt the camera sideways. You'll see a better angle on the videos I upload tonight because there's a lot of room. It's an eight inch hole and you can see the hole in the sides and it's just better view, I think. My new eight, eight inch auger, I know I'm bragging. I'm proud of my eight inch auger. That's my first hole right there. And actually it was only about four feet here, but see, I really can't tell because you can't see through the ice. What's odd is that I didn't see the bottom because it's clear. But, so what? Not gonna wear my cleats today. I'll probably stay on the sand. Sun's trying to poke through. It's uh, 21, 21 degrees. Here's my second hole. Much deeper out here. Definitely did not hit the bottom. Right here. I took my GoPro and I put it inside for you. Much more details my new 8 inch auger. Bragging again. I'll tell you, it's a bitch drilling an 8 inch hole with this. You gotta lean on it. it. Took me a long time. It wore my ass out. Two holes like this. So I will grab my ladle, my new ladle. Bragging again. It's a nice one, man. Saved me a lot of time. Now you see the hole's already starting to freeze over. That's what 21 degrees will get you. Right there. See that surface ice right there? Freezing on the side of the holes. And when I was doing that with the four inch, it was making me nervous. You know, I got those cheap plastic fittings on that GoPro. 12 inches. I'm gonna take my auger back. Love this auger by the way. Strike Master, that's the name of it. Got two of them now. I'm gonna sell the other one, but I will now. I don't get anything for them. And maybe there'll be some days where I just feel like uh, drilling a smaller hole. See, this is why I got this rubber mat. I mean, I wasn't exactly planning on doing this stuff, but with my bike, it, everything's frozen now, see? So you put it in the van and it melts and it gets all over and there's sand mixed with it. I should have knocked it off better, but coulda, woulda, shoulda. I should have this set up better. I'm gonna roll that window up for Daisy too. And I should, it's, it's, it's a constant game of keeping her comfortable. Like I said a million times, it's uh, harder to keep her cool than it is warm. Hey there, hon. So I'll put my ladle here. Don't want it dripping all over, but not much you can do about it. And my auger, I'm just going to have to that leak down the side somewhere. See where Daisy's at. Yeah, I think I'll put my auger over on my side. Until it melts. I didn't believe you could have a whole van and already be out of room. Dad's gonna be back, hon. I got the moisture drying out of the GoPro. That's another thing you gotta, I've used those moisture pads, they're a pain in the ass. They have a lot of dust on them. 
most of the time, luckily, the moisture uh, only. Uh, hey there, honey. The moisture only uh, collects on the sides, so it's not a problem. Let me get a little drink here. As you guys probably know, you can really get dehydrated out here on these cold winter days. So it's just, you know, I'll tell you, this is, I will admit to it, I'm totally obsessed with this park. Absolutely am. It produces such a variety of scenery. Every day it's different. Now you could say, oh, what's different today? Yeah, kind of true when everything's frozen. I'm talking about overall, the course of a year. Just so crazy beautiful. Not much wind. Just looking at the ice is so attractive to me and interesting, the random formations. Look at these big... Twenty feet deep here, maybe twenty-five. I will actually verify that along the way. You learn new things here all the time. What surprised me, you know, the sun, it isn't very sunny today, of course, but you should be able to see the bottom better. And I could not see the bottom at four feet, and I, and I'm, and I know it's because of the way that the light happens to be. These big cracks. So here's where uh, this whole area, this used to be a completely separate pond. This was all underwater. And now it's dry again, actually for quite a ways. I'm gonna drill one good hole, get some good video before I leave down at the other end. Let's see what time it is. Everything is getting ice up today too. Makes sense. You know, I quit drinking coffee. I think I'm better. I think I'm just getting, it's, I get too, like if I'm out here and I'm jacked up on a triple latte shot of coffee, I seem to get flustered and pissed off over just the stupidest shit in the world. You know, losing my temper. And plus I do have high blood pressure, so I just thought I should quit coffee. And I miss getting a coffee and talking to the girls. I don't really like decaf, but I think I'm way better off without it, with my personality, so it's a, it's a real improvement. I'm not having temper tantrums in the middle of nowhere. I'm calm, cool, and collected. Now this is a nice area right around here. See a pressure crack developed. Remember the big thing, and I know I'm not talking down to people. You guys know this. Uh, they're, uh, they're, you know, places where you think it was shallow and it's deep, places you think it's deep and it's shallow, so. Just be aware of that when you come out here. 23% of fatal accidents involving water have alcohol involved. 
you lose your inhibition safety goes out the window I don't think them you know I'm some big safety advocate but I do know about these drownings and I felt bad and I just think about like a family coming up here and having fun and all of a sudden the kids miss and nobody can find them and have half hour goes by and you know something bad has really happened and I just can't imagine that ride home you know the cops tell you we'll get back with you as soon as we know something and you're on your way to wherever you came from with one less child and that to me just drives me nuts I just don't take it lightly and I don't know anybody involved but I think God, man if people would just know about this this is a hundred percent preventable probably lucky I didn't drown as a kid we didn't know what a life jacket looked like got lucky Beautiful lake here. I can't help but going up here when I'm here every time because the sun trying to come through. Because uh, it's so beautiful and it's different. So lucky to live within driving distance to this. No wonder if there are fond memories of vacation. I think part of what creates those is that you only get there so often. And it forces you to m memorize it in a different way. It's not like you're going there every day. So when you go on a week vacation, you have nothing but fun. That's easy to have etched in your memory. And I'm so lucky to go to a place where people vacation anytime I want. I would go down there, but to be honest with you, it doesn't get me any better views. I'm going to walk back here. I'm going to go down there to that clear spot and dig a hole. I'll get a good video for you.
Boy, that was a hell of a football game last night. Curious uh, the thickness of the ice down further. I'm pretty sure it's not as thick as it is here. You know, this is calm. It is spring fed though. <laughs> 